Greetings one and all. Welcome back to our kitchen here today in Kenya. Well, my darling wife again, Sharon, for those that haven't met her in the last video, is going to be making or cooking Omina, which are these lovely little small fish. So these Amina are actually caught in Lake Victoria and we're here in Kasunu, right on the shores of Lake Victoria in Western Kenya. <laughs> um, yeah, you see the local fishermen going out to catch these all the time. A lot of the tilapia that gets eaten here in this part of uh, Kenya is yeah it comes from Lake Victoria as well but a fair portion of that these days are in sort of like farms that are in Lake Victoria whereas these are like um, you know, totally wild caught tiny little things I'll see if I can pick one up so now my wife is going to wash our amino if you want to cook omena, you have to wash it. You have to wash it, yeah. yeah because our omena is, is a bit wet, so we just wash it with the cold water. Yeah. We don't have to put a... We don't have to use a hot water because it's already wet. <clears throat> so just wash it in cold water in the sink. Mm. Nice. Mm. I remember when you cooked this omena when I was back in August. And it smelled a lot stronger than this one. This one smells like just smells like fish, but not like the other one smelled really strong. Because it's not, it's not, it has not been dried up. Oh, okay. Mm, it's wet. It's wet. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Ah, so this is Melvin. She's helping here in the kitchen as well today. <laughs> so to go into our amino as well. You're just cutting up some tomatoes here. Looks like about three a green capsicum. And over here we've got some onion. About three onions. So you're just gonna slice them all up. Eh? And Melvin's crying. <laughs> Don't be sad, Melvin. <laughs> you're gonna be famous on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> what a noise it is. That's fantastic. Hang on, so we're putting oil in, sweetie? Yep. Quite a liberal amount of oil. In a fry pan. As you can tell, this is quite a high energy kitchen at times. With the noise, we've got kids, we've got people. You give, it's all you good. give the oil time to be hot. Let it get hot. the Amina now in that hot oil, hot hot oil. It smells fantastic already. Really, really sweet. Nice smell, not too overpowering or fishy like I've had it before. Okay, so now Salt. 
you like fry it well so that you don't eat raw mena. The raw one is bad. Eh? Raw mena doesn't taste good? It doesn't taste good. Ah, that's interesting because I saw you eating a bit out of the bag. Raw mena doesn't <laughs> taste good. Eh? It's right well. It's got to be raw fried. Yeah. Well. Wet fried fry. We are doing wet fry. Wet fry, sorry. Wet fry. That sounds good to me. I like my fish well done. Thank yeah, you. I know you like bright fried fish. I like it bright. Yeah. It smells fantastic. You see the difference? Yes, I'm mean, not too. You see the difference? My omena is giving. <laughs> So my wife's got the omena really nice and crispy. Um, you can just see it just by looking at it, how nice and crispy those little fish are now. So darling, what are you going to do now? That's the usual, you're letting your action speak for you, Trudy. <laughs> you you put it. Uh... <laughs> Onions, yeah. And uh, what? Capsicum, we call it. I don't know what you call it. Green pepper, green bell pepper. American we call it. We call it. Uh, In Australia, we call it capsicum. But yeah. Anyway, people know what it is. Bell pepper, capsicum. What? What's your word for it? We call it. Uh, <laughs> No, I don't know. No, no, no. What's the name? Ooh, pili pili ho ho. So instead of that uh, capsicum or green bell pepper, could you put some green chilies in it, please? Yeah, green chilies. Do people like it spicy or not? Usually not. Mm -hmm. Do people like it spicy, sweetie, or not? Yes, yes. They do or not? They do. Oh. So you could put chili. What? <laughs> 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 you don't understand my Australian. I don't understand your Australian. Okay, I'm asking. Yes. Is it usual that you might put chili in it or would it just be unusual to put chili? It depends. Okay. Yeah, depends. Some people love it with chili, some people love it without. Okay. Like you can just put chili pepper to make, to add some flavor, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah to make it. It's up to you. Yeah, it's up to you. Uh, but <laughs> still, you can do it without. Yeah. It will still have lots of flavor. Mm. Okay. Tomato. So that's been drying for about four or five minutes. Now the tomatoes are going in. So my wife, they in here in this area, once you add tomatoes and that, it becomes a wet dry. Is that right, darling? Because mm -hmm. you get like a nice, well the tomato breaks down and becomes like a sauce and but. Yeah, I mean, it will still be nice and crispy in that sauce. And Ooh. I just tasted it dry before the tomato, and it's absolutely delicious. Those little fish are yum. They break up perfect beer snack course. Actually, State of, State of Origin one's coming up. That would make a perfect State of Origin beer snack, I reckon. So my wife just put the lid onto that. <laughs> I'm trying to get some information. So you'll leave the lid on for a little while, sweetie? For tomatoes to... The microphone's here. <laughs> for the tomatoes to break down, yes. you put the lid on. Yes. Thank you, darling. Thanks for not walking to the other side of the room and then telling me. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
Then now, honey, what do we? Cubes. Some stock cube. Yeah. Two. Two stock cube. Last one. Can you stir that in? Yeah. Just keep talking. You're just breaking that tomato up a little bit too, I know. Helping it break down and break down. So we're just cutting up some coriander, fresh coriander. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is the last thing. That's the last thing? Yeah. Wow. So now, this is our end result, and we just decided to take it like this. Mm -hmm. But if you like, you can put a little bit, you can put milk or water. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you want more gravy, sort of thing. Yeah. Nice. You can put milk or water. Looks fantastic, though. So Our end result. So we surfed up some of our omena. Our accompaniments are some cabbage, Ugali. some agali. Yeah. <laughs> beautifully. Everyone's sitting down and enjoying their meal. They'll enjoy it more when I turn the camera off because I'm putting it in their faces. <laughs> but I do have to, I'm going to have to try this on camera. So, as per usual, I'll get a bit of garlic <laughs> and make it into a bit of a ball. I don't know what you call that, a ball? Oh. Pick up. Some of my garlic, some of my amina. There we go, I've picked up some of my amino with my agali. Looking good, smells good. Let's give it a taste. Come on. Uh uh. You don't want to do that, you Alright. That is Yamo. I'd like to say a big thank you to the cooks, Sharon and Melvin. Thank you very much, and um, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, um, check out a lot of the others. I don't, most of my others are in my home kitchen in Australia. So this is a bit of a special one, and yeah, if you um, feel like it and want to help me out, uh, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all next time.